Hey everybody, this video is for week two for violin and viola students. In this video, we're going to do a lot of review, what we learned in week one, and then we're going to start to build on those skills. So first, let's go by the numbers. Remember, you've got your little flag on the shoulder of your instrument, on the top of your instrument. That's the hand, um, the side of the, the violin or viola that you're going to be on with your left hand. So this is my left. And so we're going to go and go by the numbers. So I go, you go. One, one. Two is over your head. Two, three, three, four, four. Up, over, and down. Okay, quick refresher. Remember, this piece here is called the chin rest. And even though we call it a chin rest, it's actually for your jaw. Um, so when I have said in our lessons up, over, and down to get that into the right spot, we don't, it's not a pillow, it's not a cheek rest, it's not a chin rest, it's called a chin rest, but that's not exactly what it goes there. Your jaw is what sets in there. And then finally, we get our fingers up on their tips. Now remember, this is a good time to remember that if you are doing cupcake fingers and you hear click, 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 click of your fingernails, you're going to want to get those trimmed for next week. So let's go through those numbers again. Here we go. One, two, three, four, up over and down. And then we're gonna go ready, let's rock. Our thumb is on the corner of this long wooden piece of uh, wood here. It's called the fingerboard. Thumb is gonna go here and we're gonna take our claw. We're gonna set it on the first string. And I did this in a lesson earlier today and it worked well. Say okay because nothing else should be touching the instrument. We don't want our fingers resting here. We want them right over top. So do a quick okay, and then off we go. Remember, when we are plucking our strings, the word is pizzicato. Say pizzicato. It's like pizza and some kind of pasta. All right, here we go. I am gonna start with the violin. So if you play viola, you don't start yet. So it goes like this. And I said, eek, eek, eek. Now everybody's in all the little ants. Ants, ants, next, dig it in the dirt, 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 next, go with underground, ground, ground. No violas clearing the way to China, China, China. All right. Now, this next thing that we're going to do, we know that that song is teaching us our string names, violins. Eek is E. Everybody, ants is A. Dirt is D. G, uh, ground is G. And then viola C uh, is for China, China is C. Now, we are going to focus our energy for the rest of our time together in our practice session on getting in the zone, the DA zone. So for my violin and viola play, I'm sorry, for my violin players, D and A are the two strings down the middle. And for viola players, they're your first two strings, D and A. So we are going to go uh, and get our instruments into playing position. You don't need to go by the numbers with me, but we can just visually go through that together, up, over, and down. Okay, cupcake fingers, we're gonna ready, let's rock, and we're gonna go to the D string, and we're gonna do a quick little moaning in D. Remember, we go ba ba da 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 now after we do that we do a four times slowly d four times slowly and then a seven times with a little bit of sass at the end let's go through that song together and um here we go. Make sure your instrument is up and in playing position. Ready, let's rock. We're on the D string. D, D. D, D. D, D. D, D. D, D. D, D. D, 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 
All right, nice everybody. Now, we know where our D string is and we know where our A string is. We're going to do some echo patterns back and forth. And I'm gonna sing the pattern and you're gonna sing and play it back. And I want you to do it with your eyes shut. Why? Because I want you to develop this muscle memory with your pizzicato finger so that you know where D and A are. Um, and so I'm gonna sing and you're gonna sing and play back, but close your eyes, don't cheat. Here we go, let's go by the numbers real quick. One, two, three, four. Ready, let's rock. Get your claw on the D string and then close your eyes, me then you. Here we go, your eyes are closed. No, no peeking. D, 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 ready, go. D, 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 A string. A, 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 go. A, 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 keep them closed. D, D, A, A, D, D, A, 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 D, D, go. A, A, D, D. Let's make sure our eyes are closed. Let's do a couple more. Put your claw on the D string. You can look real quick. Uh-huh, make sure you're okay. We're not touching the finger. We're not touching the body. Eyes closed. D, A, D, A, D, go. D, A, D, A, D, 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 A, D, go. D, D, A, D. All right, you can open your eyes. For this next portion of our practice session, I'd like you to set your violin or viola down. And we're gonna quickly go through some rhythm cards that I think you probably all are familiar with. This is, these are four quarter notes that we've got. So we've got do, 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 do. Let's say those together. Ready, go. Do, 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 do. Let's try this next card. Now we've got do day right here. So we're gonna go do, 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 day, do. Say it with me, ready, go. Do, 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 day, do. Let's try another card. We've got do day at the beginning. One, two, say it now. Do, day, do, do, do. Let's try the next one. We've got double do days, ready? And here we go. Do, day, do, day, do, do. Let's try the next card. One, two, ready, go. Do, day, do, day, do, day, do. Let's try that one again. Ready, here we go. Do, day, do, day, do, day, do. Let's go to another card. This one's my favorite. It's right around the corner. Here it is. One, two, here we go. Do day do, do day do. It's like jingle bells, jingle bells. Say it with me again. Ready, here we go. Do day do, do day do. Let's try another. Here we go. One, two, say it with me now. Do, do day, do day do. Let's do it again. Ready, here we go. Do. Do, day, do, day, do. Last card, I've got this Z that's right here. This equals our rest. And so we're gonna say shh when we get there. Ready? And here we go. Do, do, day, do, shh. Try it again. Here we go. Do, do, day, do, shh. Now, hopefully all of those cards were pretty easy for you to do, but now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our instrument. And when we are reading notes, whether it's a rhythm or, or it's going to be on a staff, which is coming up soon, but right now we're just gonna read these rhythms and we're gonna read them and we're gonna play them on our D string and our A string. When we've got our instrument in playing position, remember, for those of you that had this already, when we're going to get uh, to, to be reading music, 
we want to make sure our scroll is pointing to our music. So we don't want to do this. Remember, we did one, two, three, four. Three is over this direction. So instead, our whole body is going to point towards the page. And you've got your ready, let's rock, ready to go. We want to make sure we can look at the notes in front of us and not at our strings, which, by the way, is why we practiced with our eyes closed, because I know we can do that. So right now, let's get our instruments ready. We're going to go out, up, over, and in. And then we're going to turn our whole body so that our scroll is pointing to the screen or pointing to the music that's going to be in front of you. We are going to do each of these cards on your open strings. Here we go. This is going to be on your D string. Let's try it. You pointed at me like so, right? Here we go. One, two, D string. Here we go. D, 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 D. Let's try it on your A string. Ready? Go. A, 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 A. Let's try another card. Let's do this on the D string. Ready? Here we go. D, D. D, D, D. Let's try it again. Ready, go. D, 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 D. Let's do the next car. D string. Ready, and here we go. D, 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 D. Let's try another. Ready, and one, two. Here we go. D, 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 D. D. That's tricky. Remember, when we're playing eighth notes, uh, you want to have a nice small movement. D, 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 as opposed to D, 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 D. You don't need to go crazy. Nice and light. D, 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 D. Nice and close. All right, let's keep going. Here we go. If you set your instrument down, go back through the numbers and get yourself set up. Here we go. One, two, D string, ready, go. D, 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 D. All right, next card. D string, go. D, 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 D. Let's try it again. Nice and light. Ready, go. D, 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 D. Next card. It's our Jingle Bells card. Let's, let's go to the A string. A string, ready. Here we go. A, A, A. A, A, A. Do it again. Here we go. A, 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 A. Ba, 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 da, da. Just kidding. Next one, number seven. Let's go back to the D. D, ready, here we go. D, 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 D. Try it again. Ready, go. D, 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 D. Last card. Let's play this on the A. Remember, this is our rest and we say shh. A string. Ready, here we go. A, 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 A. Shh. Not bad. Try it again. Ready, go. A, 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 A. Shh. Let's do it one more time and let's play the first two beats with A and the last quarter note with a D. Can you do it without looking? A, 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 D. Shh. Let's try it. One, two, and here we go. A, 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 D. Shh. How'd we do? Well, if you were able to get through that and not look at your strings and keep your eyes glued to the cards, with your playing position up, ready to go. It kind of looks like I'm ready to fight, but we're not really fighting. We're just getting ready to win on our strings. All right, gang. So that's your plan for the week. We want to make sure we know where our D and A strings are getting in the zone, the DA zone. Violins, and, uh, violins, your D and A strings are the two down the middle. Violas, yours are the first two strings. And if you had trouble, just go back and try practicing it again. Remember, when it's difficult, you are learning. We'll see you for your next lesson.